denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this match. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. His misses are entertaining. Oh, it looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Just misses there with the left. All right, single collar time now. And there comes the separation now. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Way to hide that leg. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big kick land. Oh, bomb Mercier and try to further expose what surfaced tonight as an obvious weakness. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Joy gets in the clinch yet again. Whiffs on that offering. He blocks the punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Straight punch lands. Just out of range with that left hook. Big power shot there. Try to establish that jab. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Straight right, he misses. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, nice jab. Right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. Round, 
All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you got to deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Well-placed kick there by Obam Mercier. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's throwing so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Good punch, Lance. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive through <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Choi gets caught with that punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. And they separate. Just missed with the left there. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise him. He did not disguise him. He tried to shoot a blind shot. He got defended as you would expect him to. Single collar tie now. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Choi. Big punch lands through the middle. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Oh, a huge block there. Just out of range with that right hook. Got the single collar tie. Oh, huge knee to the head. What a round. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you would. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets over. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big punch land. Ooh. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at this point. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just out of range with the big right hand. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. 
Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. You see him put himself into the half guard? Like the control, yep. Oh, Bon Mercier's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Beautiful strike. Big leg kick lands. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, big punch land. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Ten seconds to go. Tags him with the left. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is gonna have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Big kick lands. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Head kick. Strike punches there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Big body kick lands. Oh, Bon Mercier's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Nice loop of punch. Misses with the right hand. Oh, collar tie. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Wow, actually got the takedown. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. He loaded up on that right hand, too. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Good work from the top here by Obama Mercier. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands being a veteran of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. 
All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Back and forth we go here. Just out of range with that right hand. 10 seconds to go in round four. Oh! An entertaining scratch so far. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. punch there by Obama Mercier. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is... Oh, Ruth. So he blocked the strike there, counters beautifully with a jab, and at least in this matchup tonight, DC, size matters. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, and now an elbow up top by Obama Mercier. There's no tell on that leg kick. Joy gets caught by that straight hand. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Bruce Buffer is here. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 47 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ha Chong. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over.